the 617 squadron was the first frontline unit on the F-35. Simultaneously, it doesn't have to land and have to rearm different weapons, different fits. It can do all these missions all at the same time in a single, single sortie. All of the UK's F-35 squadrons are joint RAF and Royal Navy. The commanding officer and the senior pilot alternate between the services. And the latest operational squadron on the type is a Navy squadron, 809 Naval Air Squadron, which reformed last December. platform. The first carrier strike group with the new carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth took place or deployment by that group took place in 2021 and its first use and operations against Daesh over Iraq and Syria and since then the F-35Bs have been flown on long-range missions as part of our response to the Ukraine conflict integrating with typhoons and other NATO assets and our fleet of these aircraft is now up to 34 after the latest deliveries this March and full operational capability for the Lightning Forces due in 2025 and that'll be when the 48th aircraft is delivered and HOS Prince of Wales will of course be joining Queen Elizabeth as the second carrier but look at this for a high alpha high angle of attack nose high pass generations in setting off a sea of car alarms at an air display. This is seen very much as more than just a combat aircraft team with uncrewed platforms, UAVs basically, of one type or another, and this goes not just for us but for other air arms that use these very capable jets in their three different versions because this is the Stovall, the short takeoff vertical landing version, the F-35B. There's also the conventional F-35A model, which is also operated from the UK by the US Air Force's 48th Fighter Wing at Lakenheath. And there's the carrier variant, the F-35C, which made its first deployment aboard the USS Abraham Lincoln with the US Marine Corps in early 2022. And here you can see the aircraft in its landing configuration, the gear is down. Um, if we had a longer runway here, this would be a rolling vertical landing. Instead, it's what we call a low boot shoot. Oh, 
reverse engineering called the lift system. It consists of four components, but the two most obvious, uh, which you will see demonstrated, jiggling a little bit left and right, just watch the F-35. It's a completely different site, a completely different story. And in each wing, there's a roll post nozzle to give roll control and to maintain lateral stability, and that uses bypass air from the Pratt & Whitney F-135 turbofan engine. And it all helps this aircraft to operate in this stovel mode, even in very, very strong winds.